Hi, I'm, a, I'm Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino. Today is September 23rd, 2018. Thank you for joining us on I, God Today as we celebrate the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. One of the most powerful images of Christ we have is of Him calling the children to Himself. Today's Gospel, Mark 9, verses 30 to 37, is one of those Gospels bearing that image. How strange, though, that St. Mark ends the passage with the mention of God's incredible love for children instead of mentioning it first. Ah, but the author, inspired by, by God himself, very clearly wants to make the profound distinction, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. There are so many ways to take this in. Let's begin at the top. In the Gospel reading, Jesus and his disciples are on a journey through Galilee. During this excursion, Christ tells his disciples point blank that he will soon be executed, and three days later would rise. This understandably confuses and upsets his followers. Onward towards Capernaum, the apostles are apparently arguing about who was the greatest among them. This very human conversation was undoubtedly to determine the next leader of their group, should Jesus in fact die. Christ, in answer to their question, gives them that one piece of information underlying the full landscape of his ministry and message. If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. And then he calls a small child over as an example of the least. Who are the children? What specifically is so special about them? Is it their faithful innocence? Is it their natural desire to please others? Is it their need to be nurtured? Yes, probably to all of these. We're all adults here. Do we really need to sit in God's lap and be coddled? Spoiler alert, yes we do. God wants nothing more than to simply hold us. That's the kind of servitude so many of us need. Yes, we do need to do labors of love and compassion and of material concerns. But the least of us, you go ahead and ask someone, wants nothing more than to just be held with no strings attached. God in the form of man, just holding us. That's the powerful image. The rest takes care of itself. This is the good news Christ most urgently wants us to embrace. As we hold figuratively and physically our fellow man near and dear to our own hearts, just as God does for us. Let us pray. Lord God, make us children of the kingdom. Help us to foster the desire in others to reach out and hold their fellow mankind in the gentle palms of their hands. And above all, give us the grace and sanctity of allowing ourselves to be held. In this we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, and with the aid of the Holy Spirit deeply in our hearts. Amen. Amen.